Howdy cowdies, weekly walkabout time at the collector, hope you're going alright, we've been busy again, doing auctions every Thursday night, it's like relentless, got heaps of cool stuff, great little group lot, sew on patches, stickers, total oil, there's some cool stuff in there, nice old English silver crown or something, Australian predecimal coins, Australian English copper, really cool lot of stereoscope slides, Here's a great little sort of expandable um, opera glasses, lovely little Victorian paperweight, some silver salts. You got a reproduction of a Breitling chronometer, chronograph, and in that little bag over the back, lot 190, there's heaps of cool little motoring badges, pins and stuff, uh, Mobile, Holden Turana, uh, Mazda, uh, Lotus, there's heaps of cool little enameled stick pins and stuff in there. All right, that'll do for the jewellery cabinet. Nice little Castelli mid-century aluminium frame chair and a ripper little sort of Italian uh, mushroom lamp, um, Studio Artemidi or something like that. Nice little pair of Edwardian-style bedsides. The valet, brass valet is pretty cool. pair of the Victorian-style sort of electrified oil lamps. Really nice little Victorian display cabinet. It's got little hand-painted porcelain panels and the gilt ormolu mounts. Really like this little drop side table. Nice little slender tapering legs. Mahogany, about 1880 or something. Nice little frame decorative oil painting, 1913. It's got details on the back. Three of these little J and J cone bentwood chairs with a nice circular dining table with that nice little Inlaid design to the middle, some sort of string banding around the outside. What else have we got? Some cool old umbrellas and parasols. Some of them are a little bit as found. Nice ladies mink coat. This is pretty cool. The blazer from the Victorian Police Motorsports Club. We've got more stuff from them in the auction. Um, big group, lot of audio gear and some LP records and other stuff. CDs, Carters and Miller's Guides, collection of Oz Pottery and other gear, a little lot of retro stuff, nice little fold-out campaign chair, just needs a new little finial and a new seat, but he's a little ripper, good box of records, the big costume bunny head, <laughs> he's fantastic, although one of his ears is missing the covering, but he's just great. Big box of dolls. There's some cool old stockingette dolls in there. Um, group lot of sort of kids' toys, roller skates, skateboards. Nice big box of tools. Nice old clock we've put with a little Victorian balloon back. I think the fretwork here has been replaced. And it's a nice old thing, old American clock. Oh. Another nice little drop side table. Again, mahogany. This is quite nice with the Prince of Wales sort of feather design on the door, draw handles. Um, this is more Victoria Police Motorsports Club badges and just Victoria Police enamel pins and other sort of stuff. Um, these are all cufflinks and tie bars. Um, collection of whistles. There's an old Acme Thunderer in there and some other cool stuff. What else have we got? Pretty cool pram. I think Southern Crown or something like that's the brand. I think English made in England. He's a ripper. We've put him with a little two-piece bassinet as well. It's just a ripper of a thing. Another nice little 1930s drop side table. Some cool old deck chairs. Car ramps. Good couple of boxes of Pulp Fiction novels and other ephemera and books. What else have we got? More shells. There you go, even fish made out of shells. Coral, heaps of stuff. There's about 10 boxes, give or take. Nice little oil paintings by Tom Groves. Some cool sort of adults-only movie posters, day bills, one sheets. A rage to live. What else have we got? Ephemera. Heaps of art reference catalogues, decorative arts catalogues, four boxes full of them. Another nice big sort of Austrian wall regulator clock. I think it might be missing one weight, but all the pendulums there and everything. 
Might need a bit of work on the movement. Another nice box of records. Oh, so we got a little Moran leather chair with the matching footstool. This little two-seater sort of um, couch is made by Parker Knoll. Uh, a couple of nice little light-stained oak highbacks. Modern Australian works on paper. Uh, what else have we got? Cool old Sid Chrome toolbox with contents. There's Sid Chrome spanners. There's a Thor hide hammer in amongst there, and there's a set of Swedish um, chisels. More good Australian records. Another mix lot of 80s pop records. There you go. Some ribbons, rosettes. For shell art. <laughs> nice big copper jam pot. Got some good paintings this week. Max Cullen portrait. Uh, Fred Goss oil. Little June Stevenson oils a ripper. Early example when she was at the gallery school prior to being at the Bell School. Uh, Jeffrey Brown lino cut. Got a nice big Emil Lindenfeld. He's an American artist. Nice big oil. Bill Oford watercolour. What else have we got? Ian Purvis watercolour. And this is nice. The Ma Maid or Ma Day uh, Tingol, Indonesian artist. The oil painting of the three fishes. What else have we got? Spice set. Movie posters. David Bowie and a Kiss LP. Good lot of sort of 70s, 80s R&B. Amy Stewart. Bit of Diana Ross. The stylistics. There's some cool stuff. Pointer Sisters in amongst there. Great cover. Uh, more movie posters. These are nicer little theatre slides. We've put them with a specimen of a stingray barb. There might be bids on that from Queensland. Big pop art painting's pretty cool. The Lego storage container with this pretty cool framed up sort of patent for the Lego figures. Some carved wooden, other sort of Aboriginal themed. Arabia bowl. More movie posters. Australian pottery. A couple of Midnight Oil LPs. That's pretty cool. The Victoria Police Pistol Club cap from the 1970s. And we've got these two sort of motor scooter books with a cool little sort of propeller hat. More movie posters. Carved wooden items. Little Torah pointer. Uh, travel posters. Big parasol with a nice big hand painted fan. Nice little stylized female figures. More movie posters. The White Horse Whiskey is cool with the big horse head pourer. Um, nice little collection of Oz pottery. More Australian pottery. Crested wear, souvenir wear. Warren Zevon LP. Victorian ceramics. Australian pottery. Nice little group, lot of sort of Victorian and other ceramics. A couple of nice lamps. Nice anodized sort of pull-down 1970s ceiling light. More movie posters. Cool old Nikon digital SLR. Uh, more movie posters. Great little collection of fishing reels and a little Bakelite Puttermatic. A couple of records. Black Sabbath Vertigo Swirl label. And there should be a Hendrix single there with it. There we go. Falling down the shelf. Um, these are cool, the mobile caps with some nice little sort of rally cross calculators and stuff like that. He's a ripper old skateboard, fiberglass deck. Really cool with the added on sort of pivot pad and little wooden kick tail that have been bolted on. I think it's missing one wheel. But all the original branded trucks and everything, I've just forgotten the brand off the top of my head. These cool, a couple of nice little carved Aboriginal figures, 1980s double cassette decks, a little lot of soft toys. I think this little one, or maybe that one, is actually a radio, which is pretty cool. What else have we got? Some more stuff in the front cabinet. Big lot of swap cards, trading cards, more movie posters, some Italian flowers. It's pretty cool. Uh, Marine Board of Victoria Certificate of Competency First Class Engineer. There you go, 1905. Nice little Ellis coffee set. 
Nice arts and crafts copper bowl, Japanese wood block, Japanese wood block. Another lovely big uh, copper, I think Swedish cook set. Russian Bond, another movie poster. I think it's a cool old science fiction one. Really nice little lot there. Carved ebony elephants there with the tigers. Some really nice ladies 1930s bags. It's a little folio of four reproductions of Margaret Preston woodblocks. Got some more interesting ephemera. Um, nice big 1970s backlight, blacklight um, poster of Peace. Um, some miners' rights, all for Ada Wallace, 19 or 1913. Fantastic Yon Japanese tin toy police car in its original box. Um, nice bit of carnival glass with the uranium glass leaf plate, but there's a bit of a crack through the carnival glass, unfortunately. Little Picasso dish. Really nice little 1930s peach frosted glass clocks. Reckon they're French. Um, little rhythm alarm clocks a ripper. Really nice lot, the Mamaya twin reflex camera with all the accessories and stuff there to go with it. Heaps of spare lenses and all that sort of jazz. Um, nice little collection of Oz pottery, Remude, and a couple of bits of Martin Boyd. This is pretty cool, the tile from the Sydney Opera House. All the details. Hoganas, Sweden, 1966 across the top. And a great little Dorian Sands hand-painted Oz pottery. Little Cancer star sign. The Pro Heart etching's pretty cool. Smoko, he's got a fag. And this is a nice bit. David and Hermia Boyd littered pot. The lid's been in a few pieces, as you can see, but the pot's in good nick. Nice little bit. Anyway, that'll do. Hopefully you saw something you liked. Be good. See you tomorrow night.